Hello, Digidestins. It's your boy, Justin from Nexus Cars, and we're coming at you live with Shine Greymon. Yes! Marcus Damon punching people! <laughs> we're starting off with the eggs. We got Coromon. We're going with BT5 Coromon because Draw is good. Draw is always good. Draw's never bad. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. And most of the deck can Digivolve off of Coromon, no, no problems. And then as the, <clears throat> the the large end, we have the boss mon. Boom, boom, bam, shit, poop, pop, pow. Wow, all tarts. Let me switch that up. <laughs> Shine Greymon from BT11. Yes, he's really good. He basically helps you close 11, out the games. Like, 11 or 12. Huh? We're on set 12, no? It is set 12. <laughs> BT12, Shine Greymon, BT11 is not that good. <laughs> but yes, um, on Digievolution, for each of your red or yellow tamers, you give negative 3k DP to a unit and their security. So for this entire turn, their security is just completely useless unless it's an option card. Like Rivals Barrage. <laughs> <laughs> or 7th or seventh Circle. There, he also has the passive ability that your Marcus Damon has security attack plus one and 3k DP. Pretty huge. It helps Marcus Damon literally end the game, especially if you have multiple Shine Greymons, then it's just like three crit, 9k DP. Like, you you, you just die. Dead. No more alive. <laughs> no more alive. <laughs> As a side tech, we run two of the... Oh, BT2 BT2 Shine Greymon. It's been a while since this guy came out. He has a similar ability where on Digi Evolution you rest all of your tamers, and for each tamer rested, you give the effect of giving negative 4k to a Digimon spread across however you like. He also has a passive that he gets plus 1k for every <clears throat> every tamer you control. So he can swing pretty huge. He can just obliterate literally anything on the board. He's still a good card. He was broken back then. He came back to say hi. Then we run four. BT12 Rise Greymon. This Greymon is very underrated. On Digi Evolution, if you have a yellow or red tamer, you gain one memory. So you can steal turns doing this, or you can choke your opponent pretty badly. Um, and then he has one of the most broken uh, passive abilities, where is if one of your Marcus Damons were to get um, destroyed, you get to choose a Marcus Damon from your trash and put it at the top of your life. It's the same for their inherited as well. So you're swinging with your Marcus Damon, you're punching them in the face because they have a better meta deck than you. Well, now he gets to come back, but at a later time, goes back into your security. So it helps with the deck because the deck also has healing because it does take a little bit of time for this deck to get going and it takes a lot of setup. To help that setup, we run four Rise Greymon X Antibody. Why? Because it's one memory X Antibody. <laughs> you get to play a, <clears throat> a red or yellow tamer from your hand and then give minus 2k DP to a Digimon of your choice. The, based on um, the amount of red and yellow Digimon uh, tamers that you have, say you have two tamers, you give negative 4k, three, negative six, and etc. etc. It also has the same ability as BT2 Shine Greymon, where for every tamer you have, you get plus 1k. Swings quite large, helps set up your board for winning. Free tamer setups, always good. This one is a personal fave. I run the four of the <clears throat> trial deck seven, sorry, starter deck seven of Geo Greymon. So it has a security ability, which not many Digimon have, to call be called out at the end of the battle. And he also has an on play of deleting an opponent's Digimon with 4K or less DP. So being able to pop those uh, rookies or level, th or, or level fours if they're weak enough is really good. Um, it helps set up for later support. Well, I'm having a blanket effect on it, so this will hit even higher. I got a quick question. Yes. Because I know people are, are probably going to be like, what security geogram? Like, that seems <laughs> bad. What else would they run besides that? Or is there just... A, Absolutely nothing until just, EX4. There's just enough space in the deck where like you can just run it. Yeah, says so he's also a geogram which goes into Rise Greymon's... Um, 
discounted Digievolution. Otherwise, he's a four cost Digievolution on any normal Greymon. But since he has Geo Gray, he's only three. He's also red, which is the side, um, like the secondary main color of the deck. So it's most, it, it'll be a very fluid Digievolution for it. Cool. Getting into that, we run <clears throat> four BT12 Greymon. Now you guys are thinking, why are you running this? This is weird. <laughs> it is weird. <laughs> this this does help with the deck because I also run a red yellow tie. So if I have a red yellow tie, which I run at three, I can digivolve into this and play that for free. It helps. The inheritable also lets my shine Greymon hit above the normal DP levels for a level six because a lot of the level sixes and sevens are, are quite beefy. So getting that 1k DP will matter. You heard it here. Of course, we run four BT12 Geo Greymon. His ability is nuts. It's literally the same, but he places a free Marcus Damon. His inheritable ability lets you give minus 2k DP on a Digimon when one of your red or yellow tamers get rested, AKA Marcus coming at your face and he's coming at your Digimon. It just be that way sometimes. It helps because the deck can kill as it attacks, which is really nice for uh, board clearing. And it helps keep the control in, in a stable situation. It also helps you get rid of big units that are rested because you can just give the negative DP to them and then swing into them. So the deck is self-sufficient. We run three, don't make fun of me, Agumon. <laughs> We run this Agumon for the um, inheritable ability to get plus 2k. Again, having that extra DP is really helpful. And in most cases, you aren't swinging at the opponent's Digimon because you're kind of just trying to close out the game with this deck specifically um, because Marcus is, you know, punching a hole through. So getting the extra 2 DP is really good. And there's no other better ones. We run four of black red Agumon to help search for a Greymon, Geo, Rise, Shine. It gets all the Greymons, and then it gets uh, searches for the Tai Kamiya. Tai Kamiya is the other Tamer we run, of course, so it helps just like add more cards to our hand, and it helps us play more Tamers. So really good, and inheritable ability to give 1K. Again, extra DP, 1K matters. We run. For BT12 Agumon, red yellow. He has the same inheritable ability as Geo Greymon, whereas if a red or yellow tamer is rested, he gives minus 2k DP. His on play does the exact same as the other Agumon, except for adding a tie, it adds a Marcus instead to your hand, along with a Greymon. Really good, standard, um, uh, must have Agumon in your Shine Greymon deck. If you're not running it, you need help. <laughs> we run two. BT4 Marcus Damon for the memory setting because this deck needs a lot of memory to get going. <laughs> Although it is kind of funny because the other Marcus Damon just lets you do stuff for free, but we'll get to that later. Um, having the ability to tap this to gain a memory when your Greymon attacks also helps, so that's even more memory. Um, it's a red tamer, so it works well with the deck's um, general uh, engine and steam, so it's just really good. It's also searchable by Agumon and playable by Geo Greymon. So. Free uh, memory setter, yay. We run four. BT12 Marcus Damon. Ooh, shiny, yes. Yeah, that'll go, yeah, there you go. He has the ability of start of your main turn. If you have an Agumon or a Greymon on the, uh, in play, you can pay one memory to move him up to the uh, to the board, and now he's a Digimon. That's crazy. Imagine getting punched out by a Tamer. Feels kind of bad. Hybrid decks. <laughs> <laughs> Hybrid decks be like. And then during your turn, when this is suspended under any means, during your turn only, you get to Digivolve into a um, <clears throat> a yellow uh, Digimon with Greymon in its name without paying its memory cost. So you can get your Agumon to Geo Gray for free, you can get your Geo Gray to Rise for free, and etc. and etc. This play is hand in hand, um, especially if you go from Rise to Shine by using his effect. So now <clears throat> Marcus is swinging for a ton of DP, their security is really low, and you're basically getting free security checks in. Really solid card, heart of the deck, 
no less than four. As the other tamer of my choice, I run <clears throat> Ty and Kari, yay. Red and yellow um, tamer. It gets, it helps with the deck a ton. It's, it, it like nets you a ton of memory because it gives you one memory if you are three or below and if your opponent's three or below. So either way, you're getting at least one memory. Getting two is just really good, especially if you have a memory setter or <clears throat> if the opponent passes over your turn, passes turn to you and with a decent amount of memory. So you should be always able to make plays no matter what. <laughs> and then when a Digimon with red or a red or yellow Digimon is suspended when it's attacking, <clears throat> you can tap this tamer to give the security uh, Digimon negative 2k DP. So this just helps with, this goes in tandem with Shine Greymon, it goes in tandem with how the deck works. It's, it's just like a solid card that really gets the deck going and it gets you um, a lot of free attacks and pokes off. We run one, yellow memory boost because we only really need one. The deck searches enough as is, like actually, and just having that extra burst of two memory could help. It also helps when you're looking for a specific, a specific piece because of <clears throat> how combo heavy this deck is. So one is good, you could run two, uh, but there are better options. I have a question. Yeah. I feel like most of your deck is red cards, why not red memory boost? <laughs> because they're red yellow. But you have some red black cards. True, but those are Agumons. <laughs> what we need is Shine Gray and Rise and Geo Gray. The ability to Digivolve. Please give me my fucking rookies. <laughs> we run one Sunrise Buster because it's so broken it got limited to one. You get to play a <clears throat> yellow tamer, yellow or red tamer from your hand, and then just nuke one unit on the board for negative 3k DP for each tamer you have. Works super well with the deck because you're just, most of the plays you're doing is with your tamers on board. You might have one Digimon or maybe two if you're lucky enough, but just having the one Digimon is enough. So your tamers are doing most of the work because they're punching you. For nuking a Digimon for five is kind of ridiculous. <laughs> And it's and it's and it's a silly way to get around their protection too because it's yeah. by DP negation. Not to mention playing a tamer. Oh, yeah. And then as the last two cards were running, Shining Blast. You get to play a Marcus Damon for free without paying its memory cost. But let's be honest, the cost is in its card itself. And then give negative two K to three Digimon on your opponent's board for each red yellow tamer you have. So it's just like a blanket nuke if you have a lot of tamers. It's good as a security um, security bomb. It's good just to play against board flood, like hybrid or a rushdown deck. Really solid, um, goes well with the deck. Um, two is at maximum, minimum one. You don't wanna run anymore because you'll get end up with a hand with a bunch of shining blasts with no tamers and then it's just all sad times. I've been there. <laughs> yeah, that was the deck profile of Shine Greymon. If you guys liked it, uh, let us know what your favorite Greymon is, because there's a lot of Greymons. <laughs> Peace out.